Hey guys, this is Moin and Ronnie Dean coming on to you from Dallas Real and YMC Enterprises. It is a very special uh, video that we're making for you guys and I uh, wanted to really come outside of the box and really express uh, what kind of journey uh, we went through for us to be even be close to what is right now YMC Enterprise, which is a uh, revolutionary penny stock trading platform and my Dallas Real with uh, HLR clothing also a part of YMC Enterprise where we trade now in the beginning of this year we both connected and we started uh, to create something of our own thinking as young kids that we are going to be independent financially free and entrepreneurs or businessmen uh, because we wanted to work for ourselves now for those of you guys who you know listen to the thing the word called business and it, it just hits you in you in your heart and it feels like maybe these guys are aggressive maybe these guys are uh, you know they, they just get what they want uh, maybe they're just pushy Far, 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 far from the truth. We started off uh, to create independence for ourselves. And uh, yes, maybe in the beginning of this year, we were like a little bit, a little bit more, you know, not, I would not say pushy, but, you know, persistent. But till the, since the beginning of this year, till now, the whole world has changed for us. We have, we are going through this spiritual journey and we feel like the world itself is going through this weird change because I can feel it I don't know how to put it in words but I can feel it me too okay. it's a strong sensation it's a very strong sensation and uh, we thought we we're gonna make a video about this and just come out of the box because I think we owe it to ourselves if not to anybody to be real I think it's time Ronnie, please uh, explain what happened inside. Hmm. So, um, man, just think of yourself on a roller coaster for a second. Just imagine yourself taking that ride. And, you know, you have the ups and then you have the downs, but it's still fun going down. And you, you're going through these tunnels and everything's exciting. Um, so that's kind of the journey we've been on, like just with business and just going to the next level. We're young. So we're experiencing new things, you know. We're 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 growing, we're learning, and uh, we're on this 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 high, like we're on this high, like we're on this level where it's just like, man, we're doing everything that we said we were gonna do. Uh, we're moving towards our dreams, our success, um, and not to say that we have got stagnant or we hit this wall, but it's at a point where it's like a pinch. It's like a where back to reality. It's like a dream that awakes you at night. You're like, oh, wait a second. I'm forgetting about something. Something's missing. It's like driving off, you left the house, and it's like, did I forget something? Ah, oh, man. I know I forgot something, but I don't know what it is. And now, I'm fig I figured it out. I finally figured it out. It's been this sensation, this, this season change where we've been up. And now you're, you're, you're going down. Yes. To reconnect with your foundations. Yes. And it's all about fundamentals. And I've been trying to get back to my fundamentals. And I realized one thing on this journey going up, I forgot about the most important thing. Um, that's the people that really care about you. The people that really pour into you. They don't want nothing from you. All they want to see is you succeed. And those people are hard to come by. I mean, just think about it. I mean, think about going to a new place or a new college and you're by yourself. Who do you have but yourself? Exactly. You really don't have anybody but yourself, but you have those people who are not with you at the time, but you know they support you. You know they want to see you. Whether that's your mom, whether that's your dad, whether that's your best friend since, you know, grade school. And that's, that's what it's been for me. It's, it's been this, this sensation of I'm forgetting the most important people in my life, the people that got me here. Um, 
I'm missing that connection missing through this connection. season change. I don't know. What What do you think? I mean, for this, me, for me, yeah. Wow, wow, man. I, I it's gonna it's so hard. It's gonna be so hard for me to even put it into words. My whole life, my whole life, I had this vision, and I had this imaginary definition of who I was supposed to be uh, and then I oh my god this summer I realized that the definition for me of myself of becoming that that identity that I had in my head that was, just just listen to the words I had an identity in my head about myself that this is this is this is who is this is who I was. It has nothing to do with reality. And then I started pursuing it relentlessly. And I had all these justifications and all the stories, background stories that I carried on with me, which has nothing to do with the real world, that I would justify my behavior. And the ball dropped. <laughs> and the mid June boom it crushed and I knew I knew it I knew it because I could feel that I was I was going too far I was pushing too hard on becoming successful I was pushing too hard on on, on, on getting to that next level which is good but I forgot to balance it out. I forgot to reconnect with my purest, true self. I had this idea of entrepreneurs who behave in a certain kind of way. And I, I picked it up un subconsciously. And I forgot about my, my, my core, my ethnicity, my family, my background. I was not like that. And then at, this, at, the, at, the, at, at June, at the end of June, when it dropped, it crushed. My entire belief system of what legitimate what a legitimate life was vanished, and I was it was it's so fascinating. I was put into this position without knowing how it happened, where I was this existence without any form of goal or idea where I'm going. Everything that I was pursuing, I realized it was not real. What do you mean by not real? Like, Because people hear that and they're like, what do you mean by not real? It was not real because it was in my head. It was this, this game, this whole story was in my head and I realized it. It has nothing to do with right now in this reality. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody knew about what story I was feeding my head. Yeah. Hmm. And then because of circumstances... Validation did not come in from the external world, from here. This was not justified. Mm. You, know, you can write a story, but if it's not validated, because we're human beings, by other human beings, it doesn't mean anything. And I realized how important it was to build relationships. It might sound weird, but every human being, you can read that book, The Selfish Gene. You can do whatever you want, but if you cannot share it with everybody else, it doesn't mean anything. Why is that? Because I don't, I, I, if I knew, dude, I would not be in this, in this place. I don't know why that is. But success without, I realize success without being shared. Worthless. Anyway, that was an amazing lesson. Ama this is gonna. This is about to change my life. This is about to change my life. And I went. When that ball dropped, I realized I have not been back home for six straight years. I have missed the most beautiful time with my mom and dad and my sister, my friends, my core values and my relationships. All this, all the people. And I've realized that. I was also not leaving the best life that I could have lived in my college years because I was running towards something that was in the future and you don't know what's gonna, what the future holds. 
and everything dropped and I was there in the silence moment by with myself. And I had to address and be with myself and I didn't get out for two days straight. I was in my bed. I was like, I was not depressed or anything, but I was like sh almost shocked because my belief system cracked. You had a breach. There was, there was a breach. There was no motivation for me to do anything like open this computer, do trading, listen, there was no, I mean, there was no reason. There is no reason where there is no purpose. And I, 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 at that moment I was like, oh, okay, without a purpose, you can't even move. Because your brain is going to be like, there is no reason for you to move. And then your body will follow. Yes, your body will follow. So there was, I was, I was dropped. Yeah. And that, at that time, I came across this video from uh, Elliot Hulse, also uh, Tyler Owen, RSD Tyler. But Elliot Hulse, this, this, this specific video, video. Come back from the scars of the battle. And there where he says that, uh, you know, in 2008, he was working on his strength camp and then he pushed too hard and he teared his bicep and then he knew that, he's, that, that this, is, this is about to happen mm. and the universe was telling him, dude, you, you need to revitalize your identity. The identity that you hold in your brain, it, 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 it's time for you to refocus it. Into, you have to redefine your identity. I'm on the process of redefining my identity mm -hmm. and figuring out what is really valuable to me and where my life is going to go from here forward because I am going to be the person who is going to be living this life this unique little life this unique little life for him Ronnie Green and everything comes secondary and this is where we're building a foundation even though we have certain stuff going it doesn't mean anything we're working on our foundation you're watching it live we're growing as a human being and you're watching it at this moment and you're going to watch a completely different person next year or two years <laughs> later. This is the fascinating part of technology and YouTube. It is. You're watching <laughs> two human beings grow on their hero's journey. Together. Together. Two men. Two men. Own entities, own life. Setting yes. their egos up on the side coming yeah. together and I, I'm sure a lot of people already understand that there is something going on in the universe and then to be honest with you I'm very spiritual he's very spiritual to be very specific not to do with religion but spiritual we connect with the world the universe the 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 the, the planet the divine procedure of life and it's fascinating. It, it scares me, but at the same time, it sets me free. It sets me free to the point that I don't... At any given moment, at any given place, I am with myself fully calm and fully accepting who I am and how I behave. I don't have to prove not to do anything. I can be by myself alone, mm -hmm. even though if I am on a crowd. Doesn't matter who's around, who's no, watching. Because it's yeah. not it's not even coming from the perspective of arrogance or ego. It's like that it, it it's to the point that you realize there is no point. This is this weird ongoing drama that you are living in. That you don't have any control over. But also trying to be the best that I can every single day. But at the beginning, when you get into this kind of spiritual process, it can be quite, like, depressing. Yeah, almost like, you know, if you ever were young and you had, like, a pet, and you lost that pet, like your first pet, it's kind of like that. It's not like you lost another person, it's like you lost yourself, kind of. Yes. It's like, who I was is not who I thought. And I thought that I knew who I was. Yes. If that makes sense. It's so <laughs> like, it makes sense. It, it just, it's like, wow. You, it's like a, it's, you, you wake up, you, 
<laughs> it's like the word everybody's saying, you know, awoke. Like, you wake up, you realize, I mean, all this, you know, gadgets, all this, I mean, it's going to fade away one day. And who are we going to have? Yeah. Not even this body. <laughs> the spirit inside. You look different. You probably won't be able to even to you probably won't look anything. You yeah, just you just gonna this you don't even know what this is. Yeah, it's, it's hard to fathom. Like, <laughs> it really is. I try to, but it, it, it's not. It's, it doesn't come to my head. It's like, wow, this doesn't mean nothing. But while I'm here, you know, I need to make it something, even though it, it, it's, it's going to be it's nothing. Funny. Happens. And, it it, so and that that's what kind of ticks me. It's like a it's like a bee flying in your ear. It's like ah, oh, like. Now that I have been awakened by myself, my spirit, I know that this body, this life, is going to fade away. But why am I here? Like, why am I operating? Why am, are you? Why, why are we doing the things that we're doing? Yeah, the behavior. Yes. And um, it, it's something that going to be studied. It's like if you ever took sociology. Uh, not psychology, but sociology, the study of behavior, human behavior, or behavior period. It's something, behavior can only be observed. It can never be the exact. And you're like, you observe yourself. If you ever observe yourself, like, we're going to go back and look at this video. And like, <laughs> we're going to laugh. From a year ago, we're going to be like, whoa, <laughs> like, really? Like, <laughs> really? That's how we looked? That's how we, you know, operated? Mm. And you're just going to look at it like, dang, look at my behavior. And you will notice a change within yourself. And it's going to be like, you can't describe, you can't even, you can you can try so hard to help people understand, but even you will not be able to understand every concept within that change or that transformation. You will be going through it. And like I said, behavior can only be observed. We can only observe, our, observe ourselves daily. And make those changes and that's that's something that everybody has to do and for those who don't they get caught up in the spin I call it the spin and the season is changing oh my god this right it, it's shifting fast it's shifting all right when it shifts there's always this middle when it shifts there's always this middle right here all right that middle piece that's the sound mind. This middle piece right here. That's the sound mind. The peace. The happiness. The enjoyment. All the fruits of life. But you don't want to be on the outside at all. You got to get dragged into a lot of weird drama. That the depression. Mm -hmm. that, that whole like, why am I here? Yes. It can really get into you. To be honest with you, it can really get into you. Yes. And it can be really dirty if you're by yourself and going through this and you know you don't have anybody to share with. To be honest with you, yes. It can get really in your head, bro, like really. Yeah. But if you can handle it, get on the other side of the road. There's a beautiful place where you will be much more stronger, faster, and uh Well, this is uh this is our story in this planet as uh two individuals. My brother, I can't even Imagine how much as a human being I've changed. Just in one month. <laughs> one month that's, this summer. That's a drastic change. That's like, it's immediate. It's immediate, dude. It's, it's so scary because it scared me. Yeah. And you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah. It's like a, it's like a shock. You are shocked, dude. <laughs> are you shocked? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm going through it. Um, and people will notice that shock, that shock, but some people are worried. Like, what is going on? Yeah. He's completely, he's changing. Yeah, and people are like, are you okay? Yeah, because... I get that question all the time. Oh my God, because, dude, I don't even understand. I, I, even though the world is feverishly going through this change, there's a lot of people who are like completely unaware. Yeah. What is happening? And they cannot relate with you anymore. Or you cannot relate with them anymore. 
or you say hello, how are you? But you're so present when you talk. Do you feel like you're so present now when you talk to another human being? Yeah. Like you're right there. The interaction that I'm here. Are you here? Yeah. Or and you, you sometimes you can tell like they're not yeah. here. Or are you caught in the spin? Are you on the outside? It's alive. It's like being alive. You can feel the earth. You can feel everything around you that is alive. This this is alive. All this stuff is alive. It's present. Yeah, it's, it's present. Existent. It's existent. It's, yeah. it's right here. But you can get caught outside and you have those people who are caught outside and they just wonder, like, is Moen okay? Is Ronnie okay? Like, what's really going on? Like, what's what's their deal? And then when you tell them, it, I get a... It's like this, this, this impression of, yeah, I hear you, but... I don't, I don't understand. understand. I don't understand. Yes. I don't understand. Well, it's probably not for everybody to understand. When you're ready, you're going to go through this journey. Yeah. This year was a profoundly life-changing experience here for me and for my friend, Ronnie Green. This summer was dangerous. <laughs> and I laugh. You know why I laugh? Because all these years I had this concept about who I was, one month, wiped, wiped out. Wiped out. <laughs> and I was like, wow. oh, <laughs> Really? And I, I, I almost felt like the spiritual world or the divine earth was laughing at me. It's like, dude, you've been playing, playing the wrong game at the wrong field. <laughs> You're on the wrong field, You're dude. on the wrong field, dude. You're over there. <laughs> and, I, and I understand that, too. And it was hard for me, like, for those who feel like they're on this journey, um, those who are listening to this video, uh, you feel like you're on this journey as well. You understand what we're saying. and It's like you're caught on the outside. And I just want to tell you a little story, a quick story about, you know, my highest mentor, the person that, I, that inspires me the most. Um, because I never idolize nobody, but I'm inspired by so many people. I'm inspired by more in this operation, this daily walk. Um, but my father, for me, was this, this magnificent inspiration to me. And when I went on my journey, and I, and I go on my journeys um, not frequently, but, you know, often, over time, you know, casually. Um, from my first, my first journey. Uh, which was back in 2012, and you'll hear a story about that, but the relationship, you know, the the, the distance, it's kind of like a cutoff, like a shock, like, who am I? And me and my, my, my mentor, we kind of like clashed because he was so used to pouring into my life, helping me get to this direction, you know, helping me go forward. And it was like, yeah, you're helping me. But this is not who you are. This is not who I am. I am not the person you're directing me. You're directing me off your own experiences. I have went on my own experience now. I have been awoke. And now it's, it's, it's my time. So for, for those who have this journey, those who are in this journey at the moment, you listen to the video like, man, these guys are going through what I'm going through. And like I said, it, it, like we said, it's not easy at all, but... You have to understand that this is your journey, and um, you just have to embrace it. You have to take that don't, risk. Yeah, don't fight it. Don't resist it. Yeah, and that's what I encourage. Don't fight it. Don't be scared. Don't just embrace it. Whatever is happening in your life, it can be way worse than what I went through, or what, what Mr. Moore here went through, or you know the experience can be way different. But embrace that because I promise you, it's going to spring you forward. Nothing else can do it. But that journey, it will. And please, 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 please. Nobody's going to get out of this place alive. So please don't be fearful. Do not do, do take that risk. Try it at least. Please try it, whatever you want to do. Whoever you want to talk to, try it, dude. Fear. Yes. Fear. Listen, dude, you're going to be so much better off. If you try and failed, because at the end of the day, all those people who have never tried because of fear and they justify that, they're going to regret, dude, that's the worst disease that can kill you. They're going to be like, oh my God, never try. Never. Time is gone. Yep. Done. <laughs> the 
<laughs> done. Dusky, that's what we say. Where I'm from, we so say dusky. Please, <laughs> risk, take that risk. Do it, or whatever. You want to see your, you wanted to say something to your mom or your dad for the rest of your life? Right now is the time. Now I never will be the right time. Avoid regret, dude. Avoid regret. That's gonna burn you down. That's bad. That's worse than cancer. <laughs> this is Moin and Ronnie Green coming on to you from Dallas Real and YMC Enterprise. Till next time, love and peace. This is to spiritual awakening. <laughs>